Hey there, sled heads. Well, we're going to do a little more work on Lonnie's sled, so consider this a bonus video, even though the series is done. we got a, la a few last things we're going to tidy up. Right, here we are salvaging a, a throttle block and mainly we're after this plastic piece here because Lonnie's was broke but this block's got a good heated thumb warmer on it um, you can never get those grips off so they're garbage we'll just get new new grip heaters for it look at this it looks like Lonnie got it off intact yes, I don't know yeah, I don't know what we're going to stick it down with, but we're going to ohm it out. And uh, yeah. if it ohms out good, we're going to stick it back down and jam a grip over it. Heck yeah. Free right, hold it down here. So we're just checking before we, uh, we're just checking it. And uh, we got, see if we can get it all in there. We got one circuit that works and one that's dead. And it doesn't matter if we put it on uh across the two blues it's still dead so we did wreck the foil when we ripped it off such is life we're just going to get some new grips a little farley action a little farley action all right quick demo on removing grips Lonnie, you might want to hold that screwdriver all so right. Lonnie's got a screwdriver got. on the other side and over here i got the air hose and uh it's pretty easy they come right off. Just kind of inflate them. I can take this one off too. <laughs> you want them? Here, I'll just do this. Go ahead. Got them both. Both just from like the same that. side. Piece of cake. All right, changing the fuel lines. All these uh, old black rubber lines, they're probably original to this 93 sled. So uh, they're a little leaky. They're a little loose. And there isn't enough to just shorten them up. So... Lonnie's going to put on some new clear polyurethane line on those. Nice new tubing. Farley's going to oversee the situation. What? You don't want to oversee it? Oh, the ball. Yep, that's a ball. All right, well, Lonnie's plugging away at his lines there, and I just want to mention, this is the impulse fitting that goes down to the crankcase, and we don't use vinyl line on that. We're going to put rubber hose back. It had rubber hose before, but we're just going to put the fresh hose in so it's not brittle and the ends aren't loose or anything. Um, you know, the rubber hose, I like it because, you know, there isn't much of a pulse really. It's pretty weak. And uh, I think that the, the rubber hose is stiffer, holds its shape better, and transmits more of the pulse up to the fuel pump. I don't know. That's just my feeling. But uh, I like I like the nice clear vinyl up here, and we're going to get some clamps for all these fittings. But rubber hose for the impulse. Farley says yes. Okay. Status, Lonnie. All right, man. We have got uh, we got some nice new clear line on here. I'm going to be able to see where the the uh, the fuel is flowing, making sure the fuel is nice and clean. Yep. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. We uh, we got it some some clamps on order yep uh, we got uh some 10 millimeter clamps i'll show them on a future video they're real nice i think you can use your fingers on them instead yeah. of a pliers yeah that'll be nice yep but yep i think we're i think we're good yeah for now until we get uh until we get some grip warmers yep let me get um, the grip heaters ordered and uh, we did ohm out the the thumb warmer and uh the thumb warmer is good so grip heaters and then we'll put her together and i think at that point are you ready to ride at that point? Uh, I think we're pretty much ready to ride at that point. Well, we just need some snow then. Now we need snow. Pray for some snow here in Minnesota, folks. We're, we're running low already. So these are courtesy of Dennis and one of his friends, and his, his friend will get a plug at some point. Oh, yeah. 
Eyes are always the toughest ones. I'm glad that just perfect peel. <laughs> yep, there it is, folks. The purple headed snow warrior. It's got its name now. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Same trick as taking them off. Works to put them on. So, uh, I don't know if you can see this. I got a screwdriver in there. Lonnie's blowing air. Go for it, Lonnie. Keep going. Nope. I got this one. This one didn't go all the way. Power Mad, Wyoming, Minnesota. Uh, Lonnie, when we crank Lonnie's bars, the motor would rev up. So that's a 10 inch throttle extension that we're adding into it right now. And uh, that should take care of that. Yes, it should. And if I ever do decide that I want to go to the taller bar, the taller riser, I'll have the extension. All you need is the bolts. Oh, yep. we got the bolts. You could do it anytime. Yes, we can. Cool. All right, so that's it for Lonnie's sled. He just did his little happy dance and wandered away. But uh, we got the grip heaters on, got his grips back on. He's got his reverse. He's got his cable adjusted. And uh, I believe, are you going to back it out? We're going to give it a chance, man. Let's back it out. Back, 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 back. <laughs> Here we go. Sort of a semi-cold start. That's awesome. Yeah, buddy. That's awesome. Thanks for watching this update on the Purple Headed Snow Warrior, Lonnie's 93 XLT. And please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, holiday season bonus, free subscriptions. Smash that button. You're going to want to know when we got more videos coming out. You can also hit that little notification bell. That'll tell you every time you'll get a notification every time a video comes out. Uh, it's really not too intrusive. It's a good thing to do, I think. I don't know. I have notifications for all kinds of channels that I watch. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.